Hello and welcome to Safa YouTube channel. My name is Ithar. If you are a UK resident or non-resident landlord and rented out a property in UK, then you have to declare your rental income in your UK tax return. And for this, you need to make sure your bookkeeping is accurate and that you have claimed expenses which incurred only for the purpose of your rental property. And you should know which expense to claim and which you cannot as most of the time people cannot distinguish between payment they made to buy an asset which we call capital expenditure and other repair and maintenance costs for example if you have purchased a new fridge for your rental property it cannot be claimed as an expense it's an asset however you if you replace that fridge later on and bought some other fridge then you can claim this under cost of replacing domestic items which we'll discuss later in this video so let's begin our video with HMRC guidelines about different types of expenses which you can and cannot claim. I have already um, included this link, uh, the link of this page for you to visit later on. Okay, now I build expenses. It's a very useful link. I mean, if you are going to prepare your bookkeeping on your own, uh, it will help you a lot, okay? So let's click on allowable expenses. It says you can deduct expenses from your rental income when you work out your taxable rental profit as long as they are wholly and exclusively for the purpose of renting out the property. So this is an important line. And remember this line uh, your expenses should be wholly, uh, should be incurred, um, which are um, wholly and exclusively for the purpose. Of renting out the property so what are those expenses um, in fact first of all let's just see what does it mean wholly exclusively for the purpose of renting out the property okay it says the expense should be incurred wholly and exclusively for the purpose of your rental of a property rental business this means that, that if an expense um, if, an, um, if an expense wasn't incurred for the purpose of your property rental business in any way at all um, then you cannot offset the cost against that in rental income. Now we have an example which is a very vital one. If you buy a new vacuum cleaner for your own home and also use it to clean your rental property between tenants, you cannot claim that cost of vacuum cleaner as an expense against your rental income. However, if you could claim the cost of any cleaning product you bought specifically for cleaning the rental property. Okay, rear costs are incurred partially for your rental business and partially for some other purpose. Now this is an important point. You may be able to claim a proportion of that cost if that part can be separately identifiable um, as being incurred wholly and exclusively for the purpose of the property and uh, rental business. So it further says um, you can also claim expenses for the interest on mortgage uh, to buy a non-residential property. Um, um, this amount will go into box 44 of SA 105. You can probably rent a property. Um, um, you can rent a property uh, Other types of expenses which you can deduct. Uh, general maintenance and repairs to the property but not the improvement such as the blessing a laminate kitchen work uh, top with a granite for top. Water rates, corporate tax, gas, and electricity insurance, such as landlord policies for building contents and public and liability cost of service, letting agent fees and management fee, legal fees for let um, of years, accounting fees, rent if you are subletting, um, if you are um, subletting down rents and service charges, direct costs such as phone calls, stationary advertisement, interventing costs. Um, only the proportion used for your rental business, including mileage, rate deduction, project, and more monitoring costs. Expenses which you cannot claim uh, are the full amount of your mortgage payment, only the interest element um, uh, um, you can claim. Private telephone calls you can only claim for the cost of calls related to your property rental business. Clothing, um, uh, for example, if you bought a suit to wear to a meeting relating to your property rental business, you cannot claim for and the cost as well. The suit is partially for your rental business and partially to keep you on. No identifiable parties for your property rental business. This is an important point, okay? 
Now, person expense, you cannot claim for any expense that was in the answer told you for your first of the position. Okay, it also says um, allowable expenses do not include capital expenditures such as buying a property, like I said earlier in my video. Okay, like I said earlier in the video, um, increasing your mortgage will for payment maintenance such as what uh, what are uh, the types of maintenance and repair costs okay P property repair can include replacing roof title tiles uh, blown off by a storm uh, replacing a broken down boiler redecoration redecoration between tenants to restore the property to the so these are the examples of the uh, of repair costs which you can claim Okay, it also says which is an important line, replacing a part of the property with the nearest modern uh, equivalent is still a repair if the improvement is an incidental to the repair, such as replacing a single glazed window with a double glazed window. Okay, this is an uh, this is a very common uh, thing. So you do um, keep that in your mind. And then further uh, explain other cost so like I said if you are going to um, uh, do your own bookkeeping this is a very good uh, guideline from HMRC okay allowance what it says for property allowance from um, 6th of April 2017 you can get up to 1000 pound a year in tax pay allowance for property income allowance for replacing the back to bank this one is also important. Um, if you let out a residential property in a dwelling house, you may be able to claim a deduction for cost of replacing domestic items such as movable furniture, for example, beds, free standing wardrobes, furnishing, for example, curtains, linens, carpet floor covering, household appliances, for example, television, fridge, freezers, kitchen mirror, for example, crockery. Color. Okay, I. I what I have told you earlier in this video if you purchase a new fridge it's an asset okay so make sure you you sh should know this this difference this is a very vital thing um, replacement of domestic item relief is only available for the purpose of expense incurred from 6th of April 2016 for income tax purposes you can claim this relief when you carry out on a property business that includes the letting of the dwelling house and all domestic item provided for use in the dwelling house and replaced with the purpose of a new domestic item and it's provided for the exclusive use of the lessee in that dwelling house the old item must no, no longer be available for use um, by the lessee the expenditure on the new item must not be prohibited by the wholly and exclusively rule but would otherwise be prohibited by the capital expenditure. Um, you cannot claim this relief if you replace domestic item in the property, which qualifies as furnished public lacking. If you use the rent, if you use the rental room scheme, and for the initial cost of buying domestic item for the living house. So, so um. There are so other technicalities involved in other areas which I cannot cover all of them in this video. So make sure you read this HMRC guideline. It is so useful and um, like I've already told you a couple of times in this video when you do your own book reading um, uh, this is a very helpful. Uh, you can also uh, contact us on email at info at software.co.uk uh, if you have any uh, question about um, um, this topic or talk to us during UK Business Hour through our chat portal. Okay, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more videos.